Hey parents, welcome to our preschool parent Devo time for parenting your preschoolers. So each week we do a little video and talk to you a little bit about the lesson that we had this past Sunday. And so this past Sunday on March 21st, we learned that Jesus saves me and nothing else. And the way we learned that is through the story of Jesus walking on the water and then Peter walking on the water. And so um, we started out um, just our video and our lesson both talking about things that you use in the water, like um, a snorkel or maybe a life jacket. Those are things that you would need. Snorkel if you're going to try to breathe while you're underwater and a life jacket to keep you afloat. So we talked about those things and that as people, we need those things to be able to stay okay in the water. Um, but in the story, the disciples and Jesus were in one area and Jesus told the disciples, get in the boat and I'll jump, join you later. So a little bit later, there was quite a bit of water going on and a little bit of a storm. And so the waves are rocking the boat. I mean, Jesus was actually walking on top of the water on the Sea of Galilee to the disciples. So when the disciples saw him, of course, they'd never seen a person walk on the water and they thought it was a ghost. And so they were afraid and they were nervous and scared. And then um, Jesus said, no, it's, it's me. It's Jesus. And Peter's like, if it's really you, then tell me that I can come and join you on the water. And so Jesus said, come on. So Peter stepped out of the boat and he was looking at Jesus and he was focused on Jesus. And he was walking on the water too. But the waves were so big and started splashing around that it startled Peter. He took his eyes off Jesus and his focus was no longer on Jesus. And he was um, afraid and frightened by the water and the waves and he started sinking. And so that's where we brought in that Peter didn't have a life jacket. He didn't have a snorkel or anything like that. The only thing that saved Peter was Jesus. Jesus is the only one who could save Peter in that moment. And so Jesus did. He reached down into the water and he grabbed Peter and helped Peter get back into the boat. And, you know, he's like, hey, you'd have been okay, but you took your eyes off of me. You stopped focusing on me and started focusing on the problems. And, um... So all of that to say, we tie that in that Jesus not only saved Peter, but Jesus came to save us from our sins. And Jesus is the only thing that can save us from their sins, from their sins, from our sins. Nothing else, only Jesus. And so it wasn't a life jacket or anything else. It was only Jesus that saved Peter, and it's only Jesus who can save us. So that's our story. That's what we talked about this week um, for the kids. And then our activities, you can sing our song, which is I Like To. And I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, it's kind of like preschool aerobics. There's jumping and clapping and dancing. It's a lot of fun. It's a really great activity song to do with your kids. And then you can always work on our memory verse. And that memory verse for this month is, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that is um, Romans 10, 13. So that's our memory verse, and we've got one more Sunday with that memory verse. So if you guys are working on that at home and your kiddos have learned it, then uh, take a video and send it to us. We would love to see that. And we've got um, prizes at church. And when they learn their memory verse, they can get in the memory verse prize box and choose a fun prize just to, as an incentive to help them learn scripture, which is always a great idea. And then our last activity for this week is creating a storm in a bottle. So you'll need an empty water bottle and some oil, some food coloring, blue food coloring, and that's it. Really, I mean, you can get some duct tape or maybe a hot glue gun to keep the lid on, but you'll want to fill the bottle of water, about two-thirds full of water, and then you can add in some um, oil. You can do baby oil, vegetable oil, kind of, you know, any kind of oil that you want to use. Put that in there. Add a few drops of the food coloring and um, shake it up. Get it real shaken up, and that'll the blue will mix in with there or with the water. But then you'll see, as you shake it up, you'll see the storm starting. So you can twirl it around and um, make it look like maybe even a tornado in a bottle. But something that you'll want to do is with the lid, either I mentioned duct tape or a hot glue gun, you can put hot glue on the inside of the lid and twist that on and get that on there tight. Or you can put some duct tape around the lid because you want to make sure that stays closed. You don't want your kiddos getting into it. You certainly don't want your kiddos drinking it. So you want to make sure that that's sealed, that the water stays in, and your kids don't get anything out of it. But in that, you can talk about the storm, and then when Peter was walking on the water towards Jesus, he was okay as long as he was looking and focused at Jesus. 
But when the storm got crazy um, and the waves started coming up really high, it scared Peter and he took his eyes off Jesus and he started sinking. But we know that Jesus saved Peter and Jesus saves us. So that's what we have for you today. Fun activities and um, just a lot of fun for you to have with your preschooler. Hope you guys are having a great day and enjoying the weather. Um, it's been a crazy few days of just beautiful weather. So enjoy some sidewalk shop. I was outside um, the other day with uh, our youngest making stop signs and red lights and roads and stuff on our driveway so she could ride around. And um, she's 11 now, y'all. So enjoy this, these times with your preschoolers and have fun with them. So, All right. Hope you guys have a great day. And we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, either online for our large group or in person for our large group and activities and crafts and whatnot. You guys have a great week. Bye.